Hello students, Eric Magidson here. This is a really important video for this course. And if people don't watch it, they end up getting into some serious trouble. And let me show you why. As we start this module, there are two different types of Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, those supporting programs. And the difference is one is available online and the other you have to download and install on your Mac or PC. For this section, you need to have the downloaded version. The reason being, they are not equal, okay? The one that's up online for you doesn't have all of the features. So a lot of you are probably familiar with coming in here. I'm in Notice Internet Explorer. I come into the COCC webpage and I log in to my webmail, okay? And it says log into Office 365 student email. So I click there and it redirects me and I'm looking for this account here. It's my student account that I do demos with. So I'll go ahead and log in there, okay? And it's gonna want my password, so I'll put it in. And from here, it'll take me into my Outlook, okay? Now this is not, I wanna repeat, this is not my primary email address, so please do not use eric.magidson2018 to email me. Make sure you're using eric, um, sorry, E-M-A-G-I-D-S-O-N at C-O-C-C.edu. Now here's the thing. A lot of you know that you can come up here, click here, and get to Word. Okay. However, because you're doing this in the browser, not coming down here, maybe coming in here and saying Word, what you're opening is Word Online. This version of Word does not have all the features and functionalities that you're required to have. Okay. Now, if you notice, I also have a full version of Word downloaded on my computer. Now, because you're a CIS student and because you are a student at COCC, you get the program absolutely free and I'm going to show you where to find it and download it. So here we are and matter of fact I'm going to close that and I'm going to show you how to get there. So remember these and if we go to the full list of all apps these are all applications that you would interface through through a web browser. So these are all online applications. We need to download the application to your computer and the way you do that is you come up here by logging in Office 365. I'll go back here. And um, you come over here to the gear and you click on the gear. Now these are the settings and I'm gonna click on this Office 365, your app settings. It's gonna take me to my settings page and if you notice, there's an install status. I'm gonna click on this and because this is my student account to do videos just like this with, I haven't installed it yet. Notice, manage your PC and Mac installs. Now, it's going to know which one I'm on. I can do install desktop application. And then from here, okay, this is what it's going to install, all of these applications. I can choose a 32-bit version, which I highly recommend. Um, the 64-bit, you don't have to install 64-bit just because you have a 64-bit processor. Okay, so 32-bit. You would click install. Now I've already have it installed. So you click install and you follow the process, okay? So that's all there is to it. It'll download, you'll click and, and run the executable just like you would. But folks, if you don't do this and you're over here and you use these online apps, you're gonna have a terrible time because the, the settings and the themes and all that are not the same. All right, I hope this helps, take care.